Welcome back. We know it is spooky season and many of us are thinking about what are we going to wear for Halloween or what costumes are we going to wear to that party we're going to and a lot of times that also includes our pet but we have to be really careful about putting our pet in a costume that maybe they don't like or maybe is not the best for them to be able to move around and be healthy and happy. So we have Rebecca Melanson who's joining us from the LSPCA and we have this adorable little cutie here as well. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Got to think about our, our pets of course and every holiday, especially Halloween, because we do want to get them in on the fun, but it's not always the best idea. Right, And we've right. got uh, someone here first. We want to talk about Hubba. We do. <laughs> so this is Hubba. Hubba has a brother named Bubba. So together they <laughs> are it. Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. <laughs> Hubba is the chunkier of the two, which is why he got the name Hubba. He's about two so months cute. old. Um, he is neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, mm -hmm. and ready for his forever home. Yes, he's a Hubba little playful. A um, you know, he's a kitten. Of course, they're playful, but he definitely enjoys playtime more than snuggle time. He's adorable and we were talking about like his whiskers on his face and oh he's so cute. You're so cute. He's the Hubba. cutest little thing. Does Hubba like costumes? Hubba does not like costumes so I actually brought a hat for Cub Hubba to wear and mm -hmm. he will not wear it so we're just not going to put it on Hubba. There we go. Hubba doesn't um, want Hubba it. Hubba has a him. very festive collar instead and so today we really want to talk about if your pet doesn't like costumes mm -hmm. maybe it's not the best idea to force it on them. Um, you know, they're not going trick-or-treating. They, you know, it's super cute to wear, but at the end of the day, if they are just super uncomfortable and stressed mm -hmm. in it, you want to hold off. If your pet happens to be one of the lucky ones that does like costumes, um, consider yourself very fortunate because they're mm -hmm. few and far in between. Um, but you want to make sure that they're staying safe in those costumes, too. Yeah. So you want to make sure that... There's no pieces on that costume that they're able to eat. So, mm -hmm. you know, like the little dots, um, the little fuzz balls, strings, sure, things like yeah. that. You kind of want to avoid costumes like that. In addition to that, you want to make sure that they can move around in that costume. You want to make sure that they can go to the potty in their costume, that they're comfortable in it. Um, I always suggest now is the time to do a test run. If you are planning a family costume or just have a super cute idea, um, now's the time to start testing that costume out to see if they like it. So you're not trying to hurry up and force it on them day of. Yeah, of course, we want our loved ones and our pets to be very comfortable and safe. And that keeps everyone safe. So thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks, Hubba. We hope someone out there decides that you need to be a part of their forever home. You can find all of this information and more on our website, WLTV.com. Papa baby. says he's no witch. Yeah, warlock. <laughs> just a, I just did a quick little wardrobe quick change, change for that. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put your hair down. I know. Switch it up for you guys. That was fun segment though. Here. Yeah. Gonna be a good day today. Oh, beautiful, beautiful into the.